When travelling off-road, it is normal to use the low-speed gear, the tortoise. When carrying material in the bucket, which you do not wish to lose, and running slowly downhill, it is a good idea to switch to the creep speed. This you do with the travel speed switch, which is located to the right in the cab. Here you find three symbols. The snail for creep speed, the tortoise for low speed, and the hare for fast speed when travelling on roads. Always try to have the oscillating front axle at the front to compensate for any obstacles or unevenness in the road conditions. If your excavator is equipped with a two-piece boom and you are carrying material in the bucket, then fold in the two-piece boom so that the load is positioned as close as possible to the excavator. If the road is extremely rough and you intend to use it a number of times, it could be an advantage to use the bucket to smooth out the surface. By doing this, you might avoid getting stones between the tyres, even though they are equipped with stone protection rings. It will, of course, also result in improved operator comfort and increased efficiency. The front axle is an oscillating axle, but the rear is not. Therefore, it is important to have the oscillating axle at the front, especially when carrying things. The axle is capable of oscillating approximately plus minus 9 degrees without mudguards and plus minus 7 degrees with mudguards. This feature helps the operator to keep the material in the bucket in the event of obstacles occurring in the field. When it is time to empty the bucket across the undercarriage and at a long distance from the excavator, one particular thing is important to bear in mind. In this case, the operator forgot to lock the front axle, and you can see the consequences. There is a front axle locking switch which should be used in this situation. By activating this function, the axle is unable to oscillate and becomes rigid. This results in much better stability. Now the operator can unload safely and without any problems. It is strongly recommended that when travelling in any gear that the front axle is not locked, as it will be too sensitive when encountering obstacles.